Good morning. Today is the 4th of August, and this is an interaction that was from June 23rd, 2022, when I, it was uh, a, well, the most recent hospitalization. This is where they picked me up from Internal Affairs Bureau, where I was trying to get help from them concerning all the emails that I've sent and I've not gotten a response to. So, without further ado, it's cigarette break time. Thank you. Again, if it helps calm your nerves, if you would, blow it this way and yeah. add, let me know when you need to add. Okay. Yeah, huh. Oh, excuse me. You do me a favor. Just tell Frank that both the cut ones are done. Okay. Thank you. to change the subject, but I'm going to change the subject. Yeah. Are you a car person? A little bit. I think that is my number one pick. That I, is a beautiful, I clean... Saw, I saw that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun to just go out on the Audubon and open it up? Mm -hmm. I struggle. My son's big into the Euro cars and the super, what do you call those, super, I don't know, the ones that go 200 plus. Yeah. I just, that's dumb around Columbus. All you're going to do is jack up your wheels and your tires. That's right. You know what I mean? The Audubon yeah. is where it's at. Totally. That's a gorgeous car, though. I like the new ones better than the last. The new ones almost look like a Lamborghini. Yeah. I used to have a nice car, and I was driving back from Florida. May I interrupt? Let me ask that. Sorry, I just don't want you to burn your britches. Yep. And I blew the engine up. Oh, shoot. I was trying to get help from the... Governors. Okay. If that will expedite, I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Yeah. So I, I think that you know, talking to everyone here, yeah. including Mr. Milligan, you know. So, so he had a couple other concerns. I want to bring you up to yep. speed. I did a, a new miscellaneous incident sure. with all his allegations. Put it in there, and he's he's content with those. So if we if you see new reports, that's what they are. They're Okay. And then, um, yeah, if we want to run to OSU, I'll let him finish the cigarette, and I'm sure he would appreciate getting out of the back seat. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. I will, I'll let Ray and, know so we can get the ball rolling and we don't have to sit here any longer. And there see. are also two reports of federal crimes that haven't been investigated. And you, gave, and you guys have made miscellaneous. Draw that. There you go. Good. So, why, why are you not... Following up, are you good for a minute? Yeah. That's the question of the day. Because it's at the root of everything that's going on in the neighborhood. Can you come to the door real quick, please?
What you're about to hear, I want you to pay very close attention to the words said. Because it indicates something that is extremely scary for me. A projection or an outcome without considering any details at all. Discounting facts that I can prove in favor of creating a narrative for me to experience in life. Please listen closely. That camera and now, yes, sir. Sorry. Hey, Cap. Hey, hey, I said absolutely the same shenanigans, but I so I crossed the reference. I took the report a while and said, and I was like, you're on video saying this stuff. And then I said, just because he was like, your service is bullshit. It sucks. I'm like, well, you know, I take that personally. So if he calls back and makes, well, they didn't take what I'm telling you. Okay. If he calls back. He's making more allegations, requesting reports in the car. I said, absolutely. We're sitting here waiting on the county. So I took the report, cross-referenced. This is on, by the way. Yeah. And I said, so, yeah, we're waiting on the county. They just, Frank said that shift change, and they just called him and said, hey, can we meet you at OSU Maine, and we'll take him? Yeah, absolutely. So, anyways, sir. Uh, so it's all documented, but it's on camera. It's on camera. So, right, yeah. Did you say that we have to do something different moving forward? No, I was just letting whomever takes his next complaint when he says the officers didn't take a report. It's all oh, three different right. cameras that, yes, I did. You're, yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate it. That's, that's all right. We literally were at the door talking to the neighbor, and the, the old lady that he's accusing of being a fed. She was like, I, I don't know, he's got against me. She, and then the neighbor, the other neighbor came out, his next door neighbor, and was like, is everything all right? Because he's back at it. I'm like, mm. So I don't even, we, we log everything here. So what type of report did you take for him that I will log? Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Yes, you want the report number? So what? It's, yeah, we literally were sitting in his driveway when you called. That's why I'm like, are you shitting me here? Um, if you leave. Yeah, I was just Four four nine four six nine. Yeah, we literally were sitting in this driveway talking to the neighbor, and I'm like, Robert. That's nice. I was looking up because uh, I was going to call Veronica or someone who worked with it. Yeah, the no, perfect timing. So I even put my narrative. I put while in the backseat, while being probated, he requested, and I obliged. And he was like, "Well, I, yeah, yeah," and I was like, "No, nah, dude, I take offense when you say I suck." <laughs> so. All right, you guys good? I'm going to scoot. We're going to see you. Yes, sir. Sometimes being a fly on the wall is the most important thing that you can be. Because I have a couple things to say. The first thing is I don't think that my neighbor is a federal officer. She's been lied to by an imposter. And because she is not corrected, she recommits his crime, repeating lies told by an imposter in a false voice of authority that other people believe is the real government. Secondly, I have evidence of the imposter telling lies through Patty Ryan's mouth. 
for Patty Ryan to say she doesn't know why I'm angry at her is a lie. For over a year, I have asked her, what else did the imposter tell you about me? If it's about me, why should she be worried about sharing it? Because I would know if it were true or not. So what is she keeping secret? The police are setting me up to live someplace else because they think that's what the government wanted since 2019. That is not true. In fact, today, the only reason the federal government would want me to live somewhere would be because I exercise my First Amendment freedom of speech to talk of my experience of torture with their illegal surveillance program called Remote Neural Monitoring. I am unafraid, and I will speak my mind. There is only one reason why the government would ever choose to silence me, and it's a bad reason. So they better not touch me. And the police better stand up for my rights. And they better stop being so arrogantly ignorant and projecting just to please Patty Ryan. I was bringing them up to speed as far as his request for a new document or a new incident for camera store, by the way, so that they can document in their laws. Is that a donut? That's Officer Scofani. I recently added him on, 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 the, on the right here. I recently added him to the list of officers I was contacting. He's the only MCR, which is Multiple Crisis Response Unit member who is receiving emails now. Because they call my claim of crimes occurring delusional beliefs. They've never bothered to learn of the information that was new to me in June of 2021. For 13 months, I have been trying desperately to fix the problem in the neighborhood that has been started by Patty Ryan being told lies. And they have not budged one bit. It's disgusting that I cannot get help from these people who are supposed to keep us safe. Because they have report numbers and stuff. So I said, it's on there. I said, and I told him, I said, you understand? You're being doc documented here, documented there. And he was like, oh, so. all right. All right. Yep. OSU and we're just sitting in the ambulance bay until they get there, right? That'll work for me. Perfect. All right. Have to say, I'm extremely glad that it is on video. Because when you go to the online report portal and type in my name, nothing appears at all as if I've never reported crime. They deleted it out of the system, so it looks like my claims of real crime are delusional. Mm -hmm. 
This is a corrupt, illegal, disgusting violation of my civil rights. And I'm not getting services available to all residents. And the crimes I am lucky enough to report and that get accepted never get investigated because they know that the criminal knows Arvid Ashby. And I think Arvid shared some of this technology with the police so that they could harass people with invisible light and that they could go around undercover and not be detected or seen by people. Cheshire Cop. I went in to talk to the supervisors that you were talking to okay. and asked, I said, he's obviously not going to be able to move his car. And they said, we will not tow it. So. Okay. That I don't have control over. We don't, there's public. Uh, I, I, I tell you what then, is it possible for me to move the car or have you move it into the parking lot? Is it possible for me to so that it's secure? Um, and then I can just come and go. Yeah. Hang on. Right near the entrance. Okay. So, are you okay if I have my partner move it? Yeah. This was something they did nice for me. Moved my car into the parking lot where it had to sit for a week because I was hospitalized again. And when I went in and talked to the doctor and told her about some of my YouTube videos where there's evidence of a crime occurring, and asked them to watch it. They ignored me at Dublin Springs. Did not watch it. And simply went with all the other doctor's notes. And ignored me completely too. This setup by the Columbus Division of Police is so grossly illegal. It will cost the city millions of dollars for how badly they fucked up my life and then continued to spread their belief to all of my friends who believe what the police say and the police are wrong if you are a member of the police I need your help and I need you to hear what I'm telling you if you are with the city of Columbus and you're able to assist. It's important that it be done now. There are things occurring in my neighborhood that need to be addressed. And the police ignoring it is not going to work. You can reach me on Messenger, on Facebook. You can leave a comment. My uh, profile is Rem Milligan. My journal page 
is tiered, T-I-E-R-E-D, justice, colon, equity and equality, where I write every day the struggle I have getting the police to do something simple. You can email me, but I won't check my email very often, so don't do that. At R-E-M dot Milligan M-I-L-L-I-G-A-N at gmail.com I would not spend my entire life the last number of years doing something if it weren't worthwhile. Neighbors have lied they are not being fully honest they are not disclosing information that they know and it is creating a huge huge problem and the problem is getting very large and needs to be stopped before it becomes out of control. Which is what happens to things when you do not address them and you avoid them by ignoring. Have a good day. I'll try and smile so that my friends aren't worried that I'll do something violent. I'm trying to get peaceful resolution in my neighborhood. The only way I can do that, because the police are going to continue to ignore me, the only way I can do that is to sue. And I need a lawyer. So if you're a friend of mine, help! Otherwise, I don't want to hear your snide, rude, disrespectful, prejudiced, discriminatory words on Facebook or YouTube. As your mother said, if you have something nice to say, go ahead and say it. But if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. I would rather you ignore than comment rudely, disrespectfully, ignorantly, and incorrectly. I'm delivering important information that is not believed. You better believe because I have faith in God and the group of people using this technology It's the opposite. The way of the world is not the way you make it. It's the way it is. And we need to come to an understanding the truth should be the reigning principle. Not trickery. Not calling something something else. Not being believed when you lie. But honesty. And truth. It is up to them to stop their behavior and their acts. If they do not, the whole world will no longer be living in truth. It'll be a psychotic man's idea of what is good. That's scary. 
he needs some help. Because making something up and having it be believed should not be the way that the world is. That's a problem. And I'm out to try and fix it. Before disaster hits me. Because that's his only goal. Me destroyed. That's been the same pattern for seven years. He needs some help. If you know this man, get him some help today. Show him some love. Because he doesn't love himself enough to get help yet. He's in denial. So love him for him. So that he, he, he can get over this horrible addiction to me creating harm in my life and a program that allows him to know everything. He's got some addiction problems. I hope he can address them like a man and face his problem. Only time will tell. Until then, this is Rem Milligan saying, have a good night and a good day. You know how to keep the trouble away. Always tell the truth. Whether or not you're believed is not important. The fact that you say truth is the most important thing of all. So say it. If it's not believed, so what? But say it, because it will make all the difference in the world. Have a great day.